When you're setting up your study schedule, our goal is to make sure everything you want to study, every chapter, video, flashcard, and question is delivered to you in manageable amounts so that you're set up for success. Next, we look at the pace you've indicated you like to study at. Your pace tells us how long it will take you to get through each of the different types of resources you've selected. For example, if you like to pause and take notes while watching videos, your pace might be 0.5 times or half speed, which means an hour video would actually take you two hours of studying. Conversely, if you watch videos at two times speed, you would only spend 30 minutes watching an hour long video. By knowing your pace for different resource types, CramFighter can better estimate how long each task will take you to complete. Finally, we see how many days you're going to be studying, when you start and end your plan, the days off you've scheduled, and how often you want catch-up days with no tasks scheduled. That way, we know how many days you have available to schedule studying on. Using all of the information you provided, we calculate how many hours you need to study each day to cover all the resources you've selected. CramFighter creates a schedule by laying out your tasks so you have roughly the same amount of work each day. The amount of work each day will be exactly as much as it needs to be to ensure you cover every resource you've scheduled by the end of your plan. We know your days aren't all the same, so we created the routine feature for you. Within the workload section of a study plan, you can set different days of the week to have light, heavy, or normal amounts of studying to do. So how do the workload settings work exactly? Well, you know CramFighter takes all the work you have and tries to distribute it relatively evenly. So let's say you had three days in your schedule and 10 hours of total work to do. If every day has the same workload, that would mean you'd have about three and one third hours of work to do per day. But let's say your schedule is a bit more complicated. On some days you want more work and on some days you want less. That's where workload comes in. You can mark a day as heavy to get more tasks on those days or mark a day as light to get fewer tasks. Now the amount of work you have to do doesn't change. CramFighter will just adjust the tasks so you have more hours of work on a heavy day than a normal day. Let's look at our example again and imagine you've marked one day to have a heavy workload. In our example, CramFighter would distribute tasks so you have about two and a half hours of work on each normal day, but five hours of work on the heavy day. You're still covering the same 10 hours of work, but now you have twice as much on that heavy day as your normal day. Likewise, if you mark a day as a light day, CramFighter takes work off that day and distributes it onto your normal and heavy days. A light day will have about half as much of work as a normal day and a quarter the amount of work as a heavy day. In our example, if you marked one day as a light and one day as a heavy, you might have around one and a half hours of work on the light day, three on the normal day, and five and a half on the heavy day. CramFighter isn't changing the amount of work you have to do, just dividing it up differently so more of the time and tasks happen on heavy days and less on your light days. We found this works well for balancing different needs on different days. When you generate your schedule, what if you don't have as many hours per day of work as you are hoping to do on a given day? Let's say you are planning to study 8 hours a day. If you've put in all the resources you plan to use, and your study plan is a bit lighter than you are hoping for, consider adjusting the pace you've set for tasks like reading and cubings. If those values seem overly ambitious, slowing your pace will increase your study time. Can you really knock out 100 first aid pages in an hour? Or you can consider adding more resources, shortening the study block, or taking more days off. As it stands, while you may be targeting eight hour days, your study resources and the ways you're planning to use them just aren't enough to fill up that time. Plus, if you have a few specific dates that you want to load up to the max with work, you can always pull in tasks from surrounding days in your daily task view. What if you're in the opposite situation? You may be in a situation where your days are just a bit too heavy on the hours. Remember that all CramFighter has done is used your parameters and added all of your assignments in for you. You may just have too much on your plate. Do you really intend to use all those resources or is there one you should remove? Are you just not setting a long enough study plan overall? Perhaps you have too much time designated for each chapter of a book or flashcard. 
Speeding up your pace will decrease the number of hours of work you have in your schedule. And if the overloaded days are far and few between, you can always manually move tasks around on your daily schedule view to lighten things up on key dates. Plus, don't forget with just a click of a button, your study plan can be rebalanced and any overdue tasks will automatically be distributed to future days. Unfortunately, we can't actually change how time works. Trust me, we've tried. But we can help you make adjustments for all of the variables you face as a student to get to a plan that covers all the resources you want to study and the time you have available. We're here to save you from doing all the math and having to try to divvy up your assignments yourself. Using our workload features will ensure your schedule supports your unique study circumstances every day of the week. So experiment. Try changing up settings and resources to better approximate how you'll really be spending your time, and you'll have a study plan that's customizable to your needs before you know it.